Hello everyone and welcome back to Mario MTG. I'm Mario and today we have something a little different. Instead of grabbing one of the Commander Legends or standard sets, I grabbed a Rivals of Ixalan box. I know, going back two years to one of these sets, um, it was kind of a pain to find in my area, but I was lucky that one of my uh, local LGSs had one in stock. Um, whole reason of me getting it is some of the cards in here, a lot of stores don't have. Wow, look at those, those old style dinosaur packs. Uh, a lot of stores in my area don't have uh, mythics and rares from this set. So I thought, you know what? I'm building a deck around uh, some of the dinosaurs. So might as well see if we can pull some. Gonna go a little slow through the commons at the beginning of the, the, the box. Um, I didn't open too much of this when it first came out. So I'm kind of curious to see what is in here. Uh, Zatalpa, I know it was just reprinted. I don't think it's anything great. And we'll throw the stuff there. Um, big cards in the set. Uh, the Immortal Sun, I know, is one of the biggest ones. Zakama is the one I'm trying to get because it turns out no uh, game stores in Canada seem to have any of them. Um, there's a couple other good, uh, other good mythics in the set. Um, I kind of did a mini hiatus from... Uh, the Ixalan block, a Ravenous Chupacabra I'm going to put to the side because that's a good card. Thrashing Bronodon and a... Oh, I think Warkite Marauder might be something, maybe a buck or so. Uh, but yeah, uh, the whole reason is that around the Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan block, so I started an Hour of Devastation, which honestly was very close to this block too. But when I first saw the whole concept of pirates and dinosaurs together, it kind of turned me a bit off from the game. I was thinking to myself, kind of, why would these two ever be together? Uh, I think Curious Obsession is another one of the one or two dom one or two dollar uh, common or uncommons. Ooh, that's a nice first pull. I think Twilight Prophet's holding like a, I want to say twenty five Canadian. I'm gonna put that here. We get a nice little flip. I forgot these were a thing. The little tokens for the flips. Put those like that. But yeah, when I saw the whole dinosaurs and pirates and vampires all in one world, I kind of was sitting there like, this theme kind of sucks. I don't want anything a part of it. So I kind of stayed away from Magic for these two sets. And then once Dominaria came out, I hopped back in again. But yeah, um, now looking back at it, I feel like that was a really bad call because some of these cards are impossible to get your hands on. Release to the Wind. Uh, I don't think that's anything great. Like that uh, Mythic we just put on, oh, a little Minecraft token. Uh, Twilight Prophet, I know is one of the uh, few Mythics that's a bit harder to come across. Not the one I'm looking for, but honestly, not upset about pulling one of them. He'll go in my, um, I think I have a Crick, uh, Son of Yagma deck. I think that's his name. So yeah, he'll probably go in there. Uh, another Ravenous Chupacabra. That's a fantastic card. Oh, we got the same two uncommons together. That's weird. Then a, oh, cool. I think Dire Fleet Daredevil. I know in standard at the time, this was pretty good. Oh, the foil. Did we not get it? Oh, that's why. Oh, I think... So the foil, I'm going to put, can you guys still see? I'll put it down there. And uh, Hadana's Climb, flipping to uh, Winged Temple of Orzak, Orz, Orzka, Orzka, I think. Uh, I think this is another good rare. I'm not entirely sure. Again, prices are always going to be posted in a bit or whenever I go through editing. So I'm just going to speed things up just a, a smidge. Um, those two packs were pretty good so far with the Twilight Prophet and that, uh, that foil rare. I think that is going to be our foil rare for the box, though. So, no, I can't complain about it. I uh, don't think I've ever seen this. Tender Shot Dryad, sure. A foil dinosaur. I'll put all the foils together. And then we'll go like that. Um, yeah, uh, tell me in the comments. What did you think of the set? Were you playing around this set? Uh, if you were, then did you like it? I don't know. I'm still... I was on the fence. I Is that a misprint? That's a misprint right there. Look at that. Right where the M should be. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Where's the camera part? Right where the M is. There's a little tick and I'm trying to rub it off, but still there. I'm going to put that to the side. That's that's cool to find a misprint. Um, so yeah, did you like the set? I'm still kind of on the fence. Other than the few cards I need, I don't think the set is that great. And then, uh, yeah, like, look how many of the rares are just... I know that's with every set or the rares. There, You can't have great rares in every set that are just each rare is... A ridiculous price but at the same time it should be see so yeah wait really quickly compare see this misty has a little tick that one doesn't that's uh i wonder how much if it would really impact the price or not because i know some people uh run merfolk decks so maybe it will but yeah um 
Other than the cards I need, I'm still not the biggest fan of this set. Uh, Mastermind's Acquisition, I think, is a decent-ish card. Um, but yeah, um, Kaldheim is right around the corner. By the time this video gets posted, Kaldheim will probably be like two or three weeks out. So I'm super excited to uh, get, the few get a few more spoilers from that. Another good Uncommon Curious Obsession. I'll go to the side. And then we get a Path of Discovery. I don't think that's anything great. Um, yeah, so Kelpheim seems like it's a fairly good set. I don't know how I feel about the mythics, uh, the mythic gods, how they're indestructible, uh, non-indestructible. I understand it kind of goes with, like, the whole theme of the Nordic gods can die and all that. Like, technically Odin could die and Thor could die. That's a dinosaur. A meme dinosaur, though. Um, technically Odin and Thor could die, but I'm not sure from a magic standpoint how great those will be. Foil Swamp's pretty cool. I'll throw it on the foil pile. Um, I still think they will be very good. I don't think they're going to be as good as the gods from like Theros or um, what's it called? Uh, Amonkhet and Hour of Devastation. But they are still going to be fairly cool uh, fairly cool mythics. I think I like the the one that's supposed to be Odin. I can't remember his name. The mono blue uh, mythic. Uh, Champion of Dust. That reminds me of one of my uh, vampire uh, standard decks. But yeah, the, uh, the Mono Blue Mythic, the one that's supposed to be Odin in the set, he seems pretty cool. Um, kind of a revamped or a better Stormcrow almost on the backside of it. Um, what I noticed is that one of these spoilers that was dropped was um, basically a Vraska's Contempt, but at common level. So just goes to show you um, what, what used to be good. Oh, Blood Sun. Throwback to when people thought this was going to be the death of Tron. Yeah, it, it wasn't. Um, so yeah, the common version of Vraska's Contempt, it just goes to show you that cards that were fantastic, like, two years ago, because Vraska's Contempt was a very strong card in Standard, and I think it was used in Modern at one point, and actually EDH used it for a bit, but it just goes to show you that sometimes the cards aren't as good as they used to be, even vice versa, cards that used to be garbage are fantastic now. So, oh, we got a flip card, and it's a... I think Storm the Vault might be like a couple bucks. I'm not sure. And it flips to Vault of Catlican. Catlican? Sure. Catlican. But yeah, it just goes to show you that um, some cards that were fantastic a couple years ago might be trash now. And some cards that were trash a couple years ago might be fantastic now. I'm going to start going through these a little bit faster just to uh, speed up the video a little bit. I don't want this to be like a 20 minute video. I want this to be fairly short. Uh, Silent Gravestone. Never seen that before in a Sanguine Glorifier foil. Sure. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I wanted to start doing some older boxes. Yeah, this is 2012, so it's not super old. But I want to start going older than that. I'm also checking if all the mist cloaked uh, heralds have that misprint because if it's uh, more than one, then maybe it's something with the print run of this box. But yeah, I want to try to find older ones as well. I want to see if I can get... Um, I don't think this Protean Raider is anything. I want to see if I can get uh, maybe like a Rise of the Eldrazi if I can find one. Or even like a Scars of Mirrodin. That'd be really cool. Um, but again, those are super hard to find. The only ones I've seen were like on eBay. And in all honesty, I don't know how much I trust buying uh, boxes and products off eBay. So I'm going to stick with some LGSs for now. Uh, Nezahal. I think that's like 3 or $4. Maybe a little bit more. Solid, uh, solid rare to pull though. Uh, a Hwatli Emblem. We've still only seen one Mythic, and I'd... Come on, box. I'd really appreciate it as a comma. Honestly, I'm not saying that's the only reason why I bought the box, because you should never buy boxes just to pull one card. But I'm not saying that's not the reason why I got the box. Honestly, there should there needs to be more uh, Ixalan uh, Mythics and Rares floating around somewhere. I don't think Golden Guardian is anything. Then he flips to Goldforge Garrison. Yeah, I'm not sure if that one's even, like, a buck. I know for Ixalan, like, the first set, or the first uh, set for this uh, block, it was all the almost all the flip cards were fairly uh, high, in, high in price points. And then for Rivals, I think it's the opposite, where they weren't. Oh, cool. I mean, not what we really wanted, but it's another mythic. Uh, Watley. Let's put a loyalty counter on Watley Radiant Champion for each creature you control. That's pretty cool. Uh, XX, okay, that's not too bad. Again, not what we want from the box, but it's pretty sweet. Two Mythics, I think we're halfway through the box. 
a uh, little reminder, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Your support means a lot, and it kind of like gives me that extra drive to make more videos and more uh, kind of buy more products. Uh, I'm super, super happy that I'm doing doing more box openings. Oh, nice. Uh, Rekindling Phoenix at one point was a really uh, pricey card, but it got reprinted in, uh, I think it was one of those challenger decks, so it kind of dro drove the price down. Still a cool card to see. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, the more support for the channel, the more box openings I'll do. Um, honestly, I just love this game. If I could even like stream games I do online, or if I can like show proper deck techs, I would do them. Just I don't have the software on my uh, kind of potato of a computer. Uh, Tomb Robber, that's, I don't think that's anything great. Oh, I also forgot the Rivals of Ixalan doesn't have any of the lands. Because I think Ixalan had some of the, uh, I think they were buddy lands, I think. And then this this set didn't give us any of them. Wow. Um, That's kind of, kind of strange. Also pointing out, we haven't pulled any of the mythic dinosaurs. And that's kind of also what we wanted to start getting from here. Uh, Paladin of Atonement. Like, I think Polyraptor is one of the ones that would be cool to see. Uh, I think we've seen one High Mythic and two, like, I think they're either mid or low range. I think the Rekindling Phoenix is low range and the uh, the, the Huatli might be, like, a mid range uh, Mythic. So, come on. Give us a good one. Aw, oh, Radiant Destiny. I know this guy's, like, a buck. This guy's nothing special. If only during Standard... Because I remember I played Mono Red in Standard, and people absolutely hated me with these cards. Uh, that, and I played Mono Blue Temple. I, I played the decks no one liked to face. Which, I know, it sounds like it sucks, but then I, I went away from it after a while. I started building a little bit of janky stuff. Um, I really miss playing Standard, and just Magic in person in general. We're still in lockdown, so we're not doing much. Nice. Atali is one of the few cards I was actually excited to get. I know you could get like foil versions of him from like Walmart boxes or promos or whatever, but it's still nice to get one on its own. And they, then a Relentless Raptor. Vigilance attacks and blocks each combat of Fable. Oh, that's nothing great for a dinosaur. Um, yeah, I played Modern. I have like uh, Mono Green Tron. I have a Jund. Uh, those are the only two Modern decks I built because those are fairly... Is this cut different? No. Uh, yeah, those were the only two... Uh, modern decks i built because modern is was kind of pricey when i was playing it i'm not sure if it still is i know a lot of the cards kind of dropped in price oh we got another flip card it's gonna be gateway watch oh no journey to eternity flips to atzal cave of eternity again not sure about all these flip cards i don't know if they're worth a ton or worth absolutely nothing but yeah, when I played Moder Modern, Mono Green Tron, then Jund, and then in Standard, depending on the Standard meta, I played Mono Blue Temple, Mono Red Aggro, I played some Vampires, uh, I played some, I think I played some Control, I'm not sure. Uh, Slaughter the Strong's an okay card, nothing too great. Uh, I even built some jank, like, ramp combo that wasn't Simic Ramp. I, I, I tried to build, a, like, a bunch of random things sometimes, but... Yeah, it, Commander, I have a ton of Commander decks. I can't even start, like, listing off what I have because there's so much I just have, like, in storage ready to go. Awakens, uh, Amalgal, 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 I can't speak. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I got a ton of Commander decks. I had, uh, Pioneer. I have one. Debating taking it apart because it's wouldn't be the greatest deck right now. I think it's the, uh, in Soul Artifact deck I have. And... Honestly, I don't play Pioneer enough to even use that deck. Uh, Kumena's Awakening. Sure. Um, we've got, let's see, eight packs left. Let's see how they go. Uh, the last eight are always uh, kind of like time is of the essence kind of thing. We do want to see one or two more good, maybe good mythic or even a good rare. I'm not sure how many good rares there are in this set. I think Jade Light Ranger was at one point in standard a fantastic rare to get. I think it was like three or four bucks, and now I think it's dropped down to like one or two because it has the whole uh, explore mechanic. And I remember when explore was a mechanic, people absolutely loved it. That in combination with a couple other cards when I was playing standard just were completely insane. I remember using this guy in my vampires deck. Come on, give us, give us something. What is this? Time Strain Navigator. I think it's something. Let's see. Ascend on the bottom of your own. Oh, it's an extra turn card. That's pretty cool. And it's fairly cheap. 
Oh, it's only when you have the city's blessing. I mean, that's okay. Still looking for the mythic of all mythics to pull in the set. Zakama would be pretty cool. A foil Zakama I saw was going for 100 Canadian, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to stay away from it. I thought, you know what? I'd rather get a box and open it on the channel. Even if I don't get Zakama, at least I get a video and I get some like cool rares, cool mythics and whatever to like show off, add to the collection, etc. So even if I don't get the Zakama, maybe one day I'll just order it. If I can find another Rivals box, maybe I'll just get another one. Who knows? Unless I get him in this pack. Come on. Let's see. I, I also know we have a few more packs. I just have that tendency where when I call the card, it happens. Nope. Deep Root Elite. I know I caught it a couple times on camera where I'm like, oh, I want to see a Jeweled Lotus and we get a Jeweled Lotus. Or it would be cool if we pulled a, um, I don't know. I know he did it with, uh, oh, the Eldrazi Monument from uh, Zendikar. And then we pulled it an Eldrazi Monument. So maybe if I just say Zakama enough times, it'll just magically appear in these packs or something. <laughs> Come on, give us something good. Oh, Wayward, Swor Wayward Swordtooth is one of the cards I needed. And I know he's probably, I think he's at like $15 Canadian now. Just like a fantastic, fantastic card. Uh, last three packs. The video is kind of going longer than usual. It is a full box. That's probably why. Um, the Commander Box videos went super fast, like 10, 11 minutes. This one's going on the kind of the lengthier end now. Sorry about that. Um... Another Dire Fleet Daredevil. That's pretty cool. Uh, also for foils, I know they upped the foil printing in the... Uh... Oh, we got three now. Uh, they upped the foil printing in the newer sets, but like, I don't remember us getting this little foils in old boxes. I remember getting at least a bit more than like five. I don't know. We'll see. We still got a, uh, a few more packs to go. We get a Dire, uh, dire Fleet Poisoner and then a Foil Cleansing Ray. I mean, I did just say we should be seeing more foils. Another Watley token. Last two packs. Can we see an Atali or even like a Polyraptor, um, a trip, uh, Trap Jaw uh, Raptor, a Trap Jaw something? I can't remember what it's called. There are some really good Dino Mythics that we honestly just haven't seen. We've seen some pirate stuff and some other things. And we get a, come on, a Foil Champion of Dusk. I think he's like two or three bucks. Nothing super special. But then we get a, oh, sweet. I mean, that's pretty good. Azor's Gateway, I think that's $12. Flips to Sanctum of the Sun. That's cool. All right. The odds of us pulling a Mythic after already having five Mythics and a Mythic, mythic after Mythic in the last pack are really, really low. So I don't have high hopes for this pack. I'd love if it's a Zakama, but honestly, I, wouldn't, uh, I won't be heartbroken if it's not. Which, it's probably not. It's black. I don't know what it, black is. Dead Man's Chest. Yeah. Of course, it'd be the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, logo or Pirates of the Caribbean name. Um, But yeah, that's everything. The price can be posted, boom, in the middle here. I probably didn't point properly because I don't know where it goes when I edit. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Your support means a lot. And thank you so much for watching.